Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the fifth tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about a couple of important things. So the first thing that we're going to have a look at is the center tag and uh, the center tag is actually deprecated and uh, you would uh, hear a lot of people tell you that you should not be using center tags and I would suggest the same thing that you should not use a center tag because uh, there are other ways of doing what you would normally achieve by using center tag in HTML and uh, you know uh, people would suggest you to use CSS uh, for uh, serving your purposes but again uh, as I said in the first tutorial in this course uh, it's 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 a very popular tag and uh, you know it's one of those tags uh, that was used a lot uh, you know with the previous versions of HTML and uh, I just wanted you guys to know uh, you know what it does so that if you see it in use somewhere and it's still being supported by the way so you know you would definitely see it uh, a lot of places and uh, you know you should just know what it's used for so I've got this HTML file here and I'll first show you guys how it looks uh, in Google Chrome so this is how it looks you know you've got uh, a heading which is at the center of your uh, web page and then you also have uh, another sentence uh, you know uh, as a new paragraph uh, in the body and then the title of the page is the center tag and non-breaking spaces right so I'll show you the HTML for the page now on line 1 again you have the doc type declaration and then between the HTML tags on line 2 and 12 you have the head sections and the body sections and the title uh, tag uh, you know is on line number 4 and uh, the title of the page as I said is the center tag and non-breaking spaces so on line number seven you have the opening center tag and uh, it's just the word center between uh, less than symbol and greater than symbol or the opening and closing angular brackets and uh, between the opening center tag on line seven and the closing center tag on line nine I have uh, you know the h1 tags you know that is the opening h1 tag and the closing h1 tag and in between these I have uh, some text put this right at the center so let's say I just wanted the text to be at the center of the web page and I didn't want it to be bold or uh, have a greater font size then I would have not used the heading tags but since I wanted to use uh, you know a, a, a greater font size and also bold text I used the heading tags and I also wanted it to be at the center of the page so that's why I used the, the center tag so you know this is called com uh, you know combining uh, tags or using combination of of tags or cascading tags uh, you know to create combined effects so you have the heading effect combined with the the center effect you know by using the two tags this way right and uh, the sequence in which you close tags is uh, the reverse of the sequence in which you open tags so here I have uh, opened the center tag first and the h1 tag after it so I have to close the h1 tag first and the center tag after that right and then I have a, a paragraph uh, on line number on line number 10 and uh, I have the opening p tag and the closing p tag on the same lines on the same line and uh, I have the text but I like being on the left in between right so another thing that I want to discuss in this tutorial is uh, let's say I have uh, a paragraph here and uh, you know I'll get in the closing p tag here and uh, I'll put in some text in, in here like this dude rocks and an exclamation symbol I'll save this file and I'll uh, refresh it in Google Chrome and I see that another sentence appears here so it says this dude rocks now let's say I want you know few characters of space uh, before the opening alphabet T of the sentence right so that is I want some space towards the left of the sentence now if you guys think that okay you know that's pretty simple all we have to do is uh, go to the beginning of the sentence uh, after the opening paragraph tag and you know have in as many characters of spaces as is required if you save this file and uh, if you read on it in the browser you see that it appears the same way like nothing has changed and that's because as I said HTML is white space insensitive so you know whenever you want to have spaces at places uh, where HTML would not read the normal space characters as actual space you have to use the non breaking space uh, you know um, feature of HTML so what you would have to do is type in the ampersand symbol and then NPSP which is a uh, short form for non-breaking space and then a semicolon 
right? And as soon as I put in the semicolon there, you must have noticed that Notepad++ has changed the entire thing to, you know, italicized uh, version. And I'll copy this. And let's say you want to have uh, 10 spaces. So I'll, uh, you know, just paste this nine more times. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'll, uh, you know, place uh, this uh, five more times or four more times, six, seven, eight, nine here and uh, then this two rocks and uh, I'll save this file and I'll go to Google Chrome and I'll refresh it and now I see that this sentence is shifted by 10 characters of space right so that's it uh, for this tutorial I'll see you guys in the next video in which we'll discuss more features of HTML more tags and I hope you guys are having fun in this course and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, see you in the next video till then take care